design team project for scrapbooking with me. And I hope you're not getting tired of this collection because I am so not tired of this collection and you can get all of it at scrapbooking with me. I have heard rumors that this collection will be retired soon. So whatever they've got left, you need to grab it. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to fold these down and we're going to start with the card on the end. These are all easel cards and they are shaped easel cards. Um, I have a video tutorial process video. Um, I will link it in the description box down below. Um, really simple to make and a lot of fun. All of these cards today are using recycled packaging. Um, this is just a plain flat piece of packaging. And I like using them because they make more noise. They shake better because you get a little more dimension in these than you do in the other ones. I will tell you that I use this little powder bag that you can get at Scrapbooking With Me. And I will link that in the description box down below. When you're making these, it's important on these flat ones that you tap the powder bag on the inside of your acetate so that everything won't stick to the front. I might not have done that very well. But usually you don't use glitter. Um, I did use glitter. But it says follow your dreams and I just love those look you see the butterfly sequence in there so I used the ephemera um, tap cards and that is the background behind the shaker um, I used the mushroom paper and I fussy cut some mushrooms out of a different tag and I put them on the outside of the the shaker to give it more dimension I added some little sprays and my wild orchid craft flowers I added the little frog because you know frogs and and toadstools you know gotta have some frogs pretty red braided trim another flower cluster up here a uh, couple of layers of red and yellow because there are red and yellow in the mushrooms and this card pops up like that. And there's your sentiment area with more pretty mushrooms. And that's card number one. Card number two. The next three cards are going to be using uh, Prima packaging for Prima frames. And I love repurposing these beautiful frame packaging plastic I love it because the image that you choose is flat inside the car or the the frame and then the sequence go all the way around the image I love it I so love it um, so I added um, a beautiful flower cluster up at the top I have this little die cut. You can see that half of it's on the other side. And I love using black with this collection because the collection pops so much with all the beautiful color that I just love it with the black. And this card pops up on that pretty sparkly trim. And that is our second card. Again, I do have a tutorial that I did in my last video on how to do this exact type of, of shaker. So uh, check that out if you like. All right, here's our next one. This was another um, Prima Frame uh, recycled packaging. And that is the image I put in there. So, so cute. And then this is a, a sticker from the sticker collection. And I just backed it on the black cardstock. And you can see all the sequence in here. So check it out. This card would be so fun for a child's birthday. It'd be fun for anybody. I have fun with it. And it's, it's loud too. 
so I used this pretty black chenille around the image. I added these pretty little butterflies. This one feels like it needs to be reinforced. And my Wild Orchid Craft um, flower cluster. And I did fussy cut some flowers from the paper collection. And I tucked them into my flower cluster. And then I just get this greenery in the floral department at my local craft store. So this one pops up on these gorgeous pearls. So pretty. And that is our third card. Today we get a bonus card. Because normally I only do three. So, you know, depending on the size of the frame center, um, was how I chose my image and she fits so lovely in there and you can see all the pretty sequins in there this one's got a little bow at the top and on this one I use this very pretty uh, cupcake wrapper at the top I add a little bit of black lace on each edge and my my flower cluster I have a little dragonfly there and this is a tag from uh, the chipboard collection it says believe in fairies and there's a little bow and this card pops up like this and there you go all right guys um, I have a lot more of this paper left and I have lots of ideas and I'm gonna keep sharing this collection uh, but there are so many other craft goodies at Scrapbooking With Me. I hope you will use my coupon code listed in the description box down below. Check out all the links. Um, join the Facebook page. Get all kinds of updates and good information. Uh, but it's, it's you know, pretty much a one-stop shop. So I hope you will check them out. Thanks for watching. Have a happy scrappy day. And we'll see you next time. Bye.